Shoot a window, shoot a wall. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, if you fall, it ain't gonna hurt that bad, bro. I told you to put that helmet on. They hit that gas line. What? I said, don't let it hit the gas line. Broker from California, pay me $4. I'm good. Don't say I'm doing it wrong, but you know how that go. <laughs> Darn good, way better than what it was. What's going on, fam, man? Early in the morning, man. If you really want this shit, man, you gotta be up early in the morning, man. We up here at the yard, uh, waiting on the last few guys to pull up. Um, I usually get here first every morning and uh, pre-check the truck. Well, I don't beat Mike. I don't beat old man Mike, man. He get here, I don't know what time he get here. He get here, boy, three in the morning. But I usually get here, man. I try to pre-trip the trucks, man. Make sure everything on the truck. Just double check, you know. Driver's supposed to pre-trip the trucks, but as a truck owner, man, you want to pre-trip your equipment yourself because you don't know what somebody doing, what they not doing, and uh, just to be on the safe side, you want to make sure your equipment is good to go because uh, it's best to catch it before before it happens. You know what I'm saying? Catch the breakdown before the breakdown happens, man. It save you a whole lot of money, man. And that's the key to this game out here, man. This trucking game is trying to save money and maximize your profits man because any extra money you got you want to save for a real rainy day when you really got real uh problems that you can't get past or you know what i'm saying problems that could have been prevented you know what i'm saying some stuff you can't prevent some stuff is going to happen on the truck you know maintenance and stuff but some stuff you could prevent half from happening or catch it before it happens so yeah we up here at the yard um Got these two trucks heading off to uh, Intel job. Uh, gonna be hauling dirt today. Uh, we was doing a bunch of stone and stuff yesterday. Now we back on the dirt again today. So we got about two weeks before our first asphalt job starts, and I can't wait, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I can't wait, man. The asphalt is so much less wear and tear on your truck. It's more cool, calm, and collective. You know what I'm saying? I, I got way less worries on that asphalt. So, yeah. Another beautiful day, y'all. Let's get to this bag. Get them the last two trucks to go off for the day. I had one guy call off today. You know what I'm saying? That's going to happen with this dump truck gang too with drivers, man. You never know who going to show up, who going to not show up. So, you know, you try to get you a good crew, a good dependable crew. Um, you know, some guys just ain't dependable at all, man. Some guys, they want to call off one, two times a week. You know, that gets frustrating for a truck owner when you got this truck. You got, Especially if you got a truck payment or... Just, just with your customers too. You, you uh, promising them a truck, and then your driver don't show up. You know what I'm saying? You can't drive all these trucks yourself. That's another good reason why it's good to have your own CDL, just in case uh, if you got to go out in the truck yourself, just to cover that spot for your customer. Because, like I said, your name is everything in this trucking game, and if you ain't dependable, how are you gonna keep good customers out here? How are you gonna stay on good jobs if you, if your company ain't dependable? So. Tell a lot of guys it's good to have your CDL to be able to hop in the truck if you got to. Um, uh, my guy that called off today though, he usually don't never call off though. So he gotta really be down bad if he called off. He don't he don't wanna miss a day, a second, a beat. He worked more hours than I ain't gonna say he worked more hours, but he worked more shifts than anybody. 
pull up here to the front. Um, go in here to the office, y'all, and get set up for the day. Wait on this phone to ring. Try to sell some of these tires, man. Sun ain't even came up yet, y'all. Head in here to the shop, turn this heat on. It's cold out this morning. Super cold. I'm so sick of this cold, y'all. 20 degrees this morning. It'll go from 60, 70 to 20 degrees in the morning. Crazy. There we go. There we go, y'all. Turn this alarm off for the for the pole for the sheriff to be up here. One time I, I I thought I turned the alarm off and I ran out real quick. Well, next thing I know, the sheriff was up here quick. On my ass, I'm like, hold on, hold on, it's just me, y'all. It's just me. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Early in the morning, man. Uh, if you're in the office, I'm about to get get to this paperwork, uh, knock some of these invoices out, get caught up on a couple things I need to get caught up on. And then hopefully, like I said, hopefully we get busy today on tires. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell, man. Like this video. <laughs> Keep running these numbers up, man. I call my boss and, and I want to come in soon to get to the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you got. I want to get this truck on camera. Anytime a Peterbilt come, I got to get the Peterbilt on, on camera. Putting this front. Steer time tire on here. So you got 11 R. I need to turn this axle over soon and check the other time the flatbed. I need to probably you got 22 fives back right there. And he got 22 fives back here. Oh. That one don't, that one good. That one a little rub. Yeah. This one on the inside. This one could probably last a little bit longer, maybe. Maybe one week, two more weeks. Yeah, them got a little bit of life in them, but. Yeah. Same with this side. They got the lumps on the. Yeah, you need to change the old yeah. chunk of server. Yeah, this you been. good, man. You've been well, hauling, go hauling heavy, uh, yeah, all of these. These two, the, yeah, these two the worst ones. Them two. Them two. Two, four. That's really like. You really need about seven on here. Patch on there. I mean, I don't see what he need that light for. It's light in there. <laughs> Patch on there. You said ice truck, and I don't. You a brave dude to do ice trucking, cause I, hey, I won't even drive in the snow, let alone doing no ice trucker stuff. I was in one day in Salt City, Utah. The hill closed for uh -huh. the semi truck. Uh -huh. If you have a chance, you can do it. Lift it up. Yeah. It once it comes to them chains, I'm cool. Yeah. I drove, and I was driving, driving, I was driving in North Dakota and Wisconsin through a snowstorm. I said, never again. <laughs> or New York, upstate New York one time in, in a snowstorm. I started to drive a semi truck in 1999. Let me show the picture what I used it before. This peak look good, though. Yeah, I got stuck in a one in New York one time, boy. It's, it just came out of nowhere. It started snowing real bad. And the next thing you know, you couldn't even get off the highway. It was just, you couldn't even see no exits or nothing. All you could see was the two little, the one little lane in front of you where people was driving. Doing five miles per hour. I said, yeah, I ain't. Let's do this. Yeah, I said, next time it's snowing, do a mile. So. Look at this, bro. Look what I do. Chain up and rock and roll. Chain up and rock and roll, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool on that. 
That was crazy. One day, one brother broke down. Uh, one, one day broke down the. It's a uh, Italian and brother, and the big hills in Seattle, Washington. I tell the hey, you need some hell yeah. I put the chair and the hills uh, and list it up. Don't worry, I put in my spare wheel. Right. We're gonna put this new one on there. They gonna keep that for a spare. So he's smart. You always keep a spare on the truck. Always. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta keep a spare. I do a house service, but when the company don't pay, how do you feel it? You right. gotta do it. Right, yeah. What? <laughs> you mean come on? Camera off, bro. <laughs> and the snow. That's all the scoop. Come in here. Suppose coming today like a five feet snub, uh -huh. you want you want to move it, right? Enjoy this brake, Ty. He said, adjust and that just, brake. Adjust the brake, very oh. good. This axle adjustment. When you hit the brakes, this tie the eyes and oh. slide it. Okay. But these two wheels in the back still spin. Lower. Okay. That would you have to do it. Okay, so, so so take the adjustment off them brakes and adjust these brakes up tight. Same like at the trailer. Okay, that keeps you from sliding and fishtailing and, and shit. And put the chain opposite side uh -huh. and the snub. Shoot a window, shoot a wall. <laughs> That's what you do. All right, what you all in on here now? A state pie. Pipe. Pie. Yeah, I had a flat, I guess I had a flatbed for a little while. I think about two years I had a flatbed. I was making money at first. And then the freight just. You know what's the problem right now? Too yeah. many new people. Yeah. And, and put it down. Yep. Underbidding the rates. Yep. That's exactly what they doing. I have a 379P all the school, one yeah. FLD. When the broker from California pay me $4, I'm good. All right. When the old people to California come into Texas, right. he calls the rail. I say, no, I'm going to call my body. <laughs> I'm going to drive right now. Right. You know what's going on. Yeah, I already know. Once when my friends tell me, hey, why you have you throw in the parking lot? I don't want to do nothing for you. Right. You can't work for free. Yeah. That's why I tell people on these tires, when they call me in the middle of the night, they want me to come out for free. <laughs> like, I can't come out for free. I can give you the best price I can give you, but. Uh, yeah, I know. It's business. I can't, I can't come for free. Yeah, I know. Especially after I've been working all day. You want me to come out in the middle of the night. Got this new tire on there. Oh, man. Get him up out of here. <laughs> oh, he really banged it. I'm everyone, but it's all in me. How you get on, cuz? Good morning. I'm making No good, bro. I bet you I beat you.
Y'all see what's going on, man. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing with the subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell, man. Like this video, man. We're gonna keep running them numbers on up. We're gonna keep getting them in, getting them out, getting them gone, man. Stay tuned. Bro, your forehead big as hell. Come here, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. <laughs> now they want the tire. They trying to get him to patch it. Got the marrow in here. So we got bad news for the marrow. We're gonna be trying to get this dent out right here. What? Well, tell them to come on with it. Fuck it. <laughs> tell them to come on with it. So man, you gotta tell man. You know the you know the family want to know man what happened to the Camaro man. Oh, just let them know it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, pretty much staying in the house, and you know um, one of the people, one of the neighbors had a friend come over. She ain't know how to drive, man. She hit my silver Kia into my Camaro, man. That's how bad That's she reversed. Crazy. So now you know I'm here at the shop. To and, see what we and, can do. and the craziest part is she had insurance, but the yeah, insurance don't want to pay. Insurance, but she had her tents with insurance, and so since you uh, since she had her tents and then had nobody in the car, um, it's a but they, I thought they should still have to pay. No, it's a clause. The insurance in her name? Yeah, the insurance in her name, the car in her name. Just her name. Yeah, nobody else is just her name. She had her tents with a car. And so when she hit my car, the short says that she ain't had nobody in the car. With her. That's crazy. So now we're going to try to get this gin out right here. Who is that? Trucks. That might be Floyd. Where that kid at? We didn't order that dent kit. Hopefully it worked, man. I think it's, I think it's dented pretty bad and it might be hard, but we don't know till we try, right? So we're gonna see if we got this kit. The Amazon kit got everything you need. Damn, I'm sitting in this chair right here. Let's see what we got in here. Everybody. It's a come with a little hammer. We're gonna try the suctions first. It didn't come with no instructions? No, it didn't. They know. They know damn well we don't know what we're doing for real. <laughs> <laughs> they don't put no, all these pieces and parts, and they don't put no instructions in here, man. This shit got 19 pieces to it. I'm gonna have to watch a video. No. I think on YouTube they was talking about putting hot water or something. You, to... you, just, yeah, you, you get nasty. You, you stay here in some shit. <laughs> 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 <I'm serious. laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you gotta get some hot ass water. You gotta warm it up in the microwave. Okay. You feel me? Then pour it on there. And you put. It. I was using the plunger. You put this on there. You feel me? Boom! It should come out. I will put the little ones on there too. I do that one in the middle, in like the corners. Yep. Shit, you already know. He said he gotta do it right. He said he ain't gonna touch it unless I bring the right materials. <laughs> got the white pinky gloves, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you need that hot because it ain't gonna do I'm telling you, bro, if you fall, it ain't gonna hurt that bad, bro. I told you to put that helmet on. Hey, cuz, it's really high as fuck up here. <laughs> oh, are you recording? Cuz. Come on, all you, all you gotta do is hit it with the knife, bro, and grab one. Oh, how you gonna hold on? That's what I'm saying, nigga. This is wild. Just cut half of it, and then it's probably gonna, it's gonna fall so I cut it. Just start cutting it, bro. I'm gonna catch it. And if you fall, I'm gonna catch you. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you, bro. Boy, why you? I said slow. That motherfucker almost came and knocked you down. What the motherfucker? I would have been crying. Yeah, slide that one over and then we hit that one. Foop, foop. But don't do that one, fact. We don't want that one to come down and hit that gas line. Man, he said. Whew. It ain't fair. Boy, I heard that thing clicking. Boy, I thought you fell. 
you might have to go a little higher on this one. Or I would go to the right. Nah, that's good right there. That way it don't come. Yes, sir. Come on with it. Weeble wobble and he won't fall down. <laughs> yep. All right, just try to grab it with your hand without. Hold on one hand and grab it with your other hand. That one shouldn't be that heavy, huh? Come on. Yeah, there you go. Just don't let it hit that gas line. What? I said don't let it hit the gas line, bro. Damn. You trying to blow up? I said don't hit the gas. He went straight and boom. Smacked the gas line. family back out here in Perry County again heading back to pick up this truck green sterling I don't know if y'all remember or not we dropped this uh, sterling off probably about three weeks ago we had picked the purple Mac up triaxle and dropped this truck off we had picked this truck up from getting a air uh, problem fixed with the air compressor uh, we dropped it off here to get the floor patched on this one so he got this one all buttoned up and ready to go so we're about to pick this up and see how it looks i'm sure he did a good job he did a great job on the other two trucks i don't know if y'all go back and check that other video he did a great job on them two trucks man y'all looking to get y'all's truck floors done in ohio man let me know man it's the guy to come to man he cold with it he affordable he do good work man so we want to pick this truck up Drive it back to the yard, y'all. Look her nose ass nigga. <laughs> Boy, he threw that shit out his nose so fast, y'all. He was not trying to get caught on the camera, y'all. No, you're not gonna catch me, fool. We out here in the cut, y'all. It even smell different out here. It smell like it smell green out here. It smell that fresh grass growing. Columbus, I got to the land. Well, there my air compressor throwed a rod. Oh. Went out through the, the case of it. That's crazy. And man, I've seen them start pouring out oil. I've never seen one throw a rod. Yeah, it it yeah. uh, throwed a rod, and I there was oil everywhere. The boards now it's like impossible to get parts for them. Any other Ford yeah. trucks impossible. These are getting a lot harder to get parts for too, but the Fords. It's like impossible. Mm. These you can call Freightliner still. The Ford's Freightliner won't ah. cross over. It's the same truck. Yeah. If it's a Ford, the VIN numbers won't. They can't run the VIN numbers for some crazy reason. Ah. Mm. So those trucks are insane. You did that bed back there? Uh huh? You did the bed? Did what? You did the bed too? You helped with the bed? My boy did it. Your boy I did, did it. Yeah. It looks very nice, man. Yeah, he did. Looks good. Uh, yeah, 
they had a bunch of wee little holes back there. And they, right. Instead of putting patches on it, right. he just put that one section oh, in there. Oh, seat in there? Yeah. <laughs> Child, let's get her back to the house. Why am I getting this stop engine engine warning light though? It's always something with these trucks, y'all. See, it's the stuff you gotta deal with. I'm getting a stop engine engine warning light. Keeps going on and off. Checked all the fluids and the cooling, everything was good. Might be the cool, and I don't know. I ain't never seen that light come on before. We're gonna find out, child. Shit, we out here in the middle of nowhere. That bed look damn good. Man, it's always something with these trucks, guys. Every time. So hopefully, that's just a sensor or something going off from the cooling. I guess we'll find out once we get back to the yard and we're looking back over. Take it easy on her and uh, keep my eye on all these gauges. Make sure we ain't overheating or nothing crazy. It was something real bad. The light would stay on. The light keep going on and coming off. So we gonna see y'all. We back at the yard, y'all. Get y'all a better look at it with the bed up. I must have the gate must have been the gate must have been unlocked that whole ride home. Gotta figure out what's going on with this tire too. Let's hit this gate. Show you all this bed real quick. Always make sure you check what's in that doghouse before you step under this bed, y'all. One of them old bricks of ass if I come hit you in the head, it's over with. Shit, this look good, y'all. They did a good job. They do good work there, man. This truck will be good to go for a minute. I have to do that top. We we'll probably get off for another few seasons before we had a fool with this again. Don't look bad at all. We're gonna probably just need one of them. Uh, we're gonna put on a, put on a battery box up here, cuz these old Sterling's, y'all. You gotta keep a or any battery box on an older truck, and you gotta keep a bungee on there. This bungee snapped in half. You don't want this thing to fall off. Right here, to here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta get it all the way in the hole. It's a hole under there, right there. Yeah, see them two holes. Yeah. Yeah, that hole work too. Oh, nah, that ain't going nowhere. That work too, right there. That motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Always keep some bungee straps and some straps in your truck, man. Keep trucks, keep tools in y'all's truck, man. It'll save you on the road every trip. Put that bed down. <laughs> <laughs> 